Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brielle and this is The Budget RN. Today we're going to be cash stuffing money from my second paycheck for the month of April. So if you're interested in seeing this cash stuffing, then please continue watching. Okay, you guys, so first and foremost, thank you so much to all the new subscribers and welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining my journey to budgeting a lot better, saving a lot more, and um, planning for a brighter future. So here we're doing cash stuffings for a an emergency fund to pay down credit card debt or pay it off completely and to sink and save for everything that we want to do. So okay you guys so i have the money right here that we're going to be cash stuffing today i'm actually going to be cash stuffing for the next two weeks so i will not be posting a cash stuffing next week that this is the last cash stuffing for the month of april um i will be resuming back in may with my weekly cash stuffings so my next video will be a sinking fund update and a back to bank video for you guys so let's do a quick cash count 100 200 300 400 500 600 57, 58, 59, 50, 1,000. So that's 1,000, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 40. So 15, 40, uh, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 600, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, and 65. So $1,665. And that is what I withdrew from the bank. So yes, we are cashed up bank. $1,665. A little more than I usually do. Um, for two reasons, like I said, the first being I'm cash stuffing for the next two weeks. And also I am going to be starting to cash stuff some of my bills. Um, I'm not going to cash stuff everything, only rent, utilities, phone, um, car insurance, and savings. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set this money up for you guys. I hope everybody's having a great day and enjoying the month of April. The weather is so nice and I've been enjoying it. Um, I'm stuffing for the next two weeks because there is quite a few things that are coming up. So I just want to have my wallet already and do my cash stuffing because I didn't want to miss a cash stuffing. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it for two weeks. All right. So let me just go ahead and show you guys the bill binder that I'm going to be using for now. This is not going to be my permanent bill binder. This is a bill binder that I ordered, well, I put together back in February. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to use it because I started to like the little black and gold theme, so it doesn't really go with my aesthetic, for one. This is from Lux Designs on um, Etsy. And when I ordered them, they are actually advertised to be entirely foil rose gold. And that's what I ordered. I thought like the background would be, um, or the interior would be also rose gold. It's actually silver. And I don't really like gold and silver or rose gold and silver together. So I was kind of displeased with that, but it was fine. Um, I was going to still use them. But then I saw that she gave me a insurance envelope instead of a car insurance envelope. So I reached out to her, she was kind enough to replace it, but then when she replaced it, it's actually punched for an A5 and not an A6, like the rest of my envelopes. I'm not sure what was going on, maybe it was just a busy time, but all is fine, they're beautiful envelopes, um, but these were like $50, <laughs> um, so pretty expensive. And I don't want to waste them. So I think that they're beautiful envelopes that someone else can enjoy or someone else may actually love. So I'm actually going to be giving this binder away. I have not decided if this is going to be a random giveaway or if um, this will be a part of my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. I don't know. Um, I do plan on ordering my binder and envelopes next month. So uh, whenever that comes, I will um, 
stop using this and use that one so then I'll be ready for that giveaway I think I'm gonna just do it separate and it's be it be its own giveaway so whoever doesn't mind using a used binder and envelopes um, could go ahead and and be submitted for the giveaway for just this binder I got this little sparkly cute rose gold binder off of Amazon to go with it and I think it looks really cute it came out really really cute um, it was just a matter of those things that I was just like you know I'm not going to you know throw it away or waste it I'd rather someone else that might actually love how it came out to enjoy it and then I will um, just get what I actually want so while I have this here, I'm going to go ahead and stuff $485 for my rent. So 300s, 250s, um, a 20, 10, and a 5. So I got this wrong. I need another 50. Sorry. So 485. 1, 2, 3, 4, 50, 70, 80, and 5. So $485 going into rent. Um, and that's just the rest that I need for this month and then I will start over using this binder next month so you guys stay tuned for the announcement of that giveaway I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my wallet as usual so actually let's go ahead and empty out our coins I do have my little coin tower here and if you're interested in this coin tower it is going to be linked down in the description box as always okay And then for receipts, I do have a couple receipts here that I'm going to go ahead and scan into Fetch. Um, if you don't know what Fetch is, it's an app that you download on your phone. You download the app, you scan your receipts, every purchase that you have, and then those receipts will accumulate points in your bank. You can then exchange or redeem those points for free gift cards to everywhere i mean target sephora um out outback steakhouse restaurants uh stores online amazon everything so it's actually pretty awesome and really cool i will put my coupon code here for anyone that is interested in joining fetch when you use my coupon code you get points and i get points as well so thank you guys who have already used my coupon code i appreciate you guys so much all right so let's go ahead and get into this cash stuffing First is groceries, and for groceries, we're going to stuff 120. For gas, gas is going to get 80. I did go to the gas station the other day. Well, not the other day, yesterday. And I spent 20, so we're going to just stuff 80. I'm looking for this $20 bill that literally has a hole in the middle. Ugh, that's annoying. Because it literally has a hole in the middle. I was like, what happened to it? I don't know. I'm going to find it and I'm going to be mad. So 50, 70, and 80. Next is for my spending. And I'm going to get $40. Next is for my daughter. She will get 20. Next is for household, and household is going to get 30 bucks. Next is eating out, and eating out will get $40. And miscellaneous. So miscellaneous has rollover. Let's see what we have. So we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice rollover. So this is gonna go 
These ones are gonna go into my $1 challenge and the five will go into my $5 challenge. I will set that to the side for later. And miscellaneous is going to get two fives. Okay, so that is all for my wallet. Let's go ahead and hop right into our long-term binder. So for my car maintenance envelope, car and gas is going to get, oh, that was my neck, I'm sorry if you heard that, 20 bucks. So now there's one, 50, 70, 80, 90, and 200 in car maintenance. Next is for my $2,000 savings for, well not savings, but $2,000 challenge to save up $2,000 to go towards my credit cards at the end of the year. And today we're going to be adding $44. So, two 20s, one, two, three, four. And we'll color in our little piggies. So we'll do 22 and I think there's another 22. 22. 44 bucks. And get my little penny. All right, so now credit cards has one, two, three, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 400, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, $413. And $413. All right, next is for my emergency fund. An emergency fund is going to get 20 bucks. So now there is one, two, three, four, five, 20, 40, and 60. So five, 60, and my emergency fund. Next is Fan Bam, and as you see, Fan Bam is depleted. So tell me why my daughter's grandmother, my father's boy, my father's boyfriend, <laughs> oh my God, my boyfriend's mom, <laughs> um, her birthday like completely snuck up on me. So I got her a gift and um, we went out for her birthday and my daughter got her a little custom like birthday card with pictures of them. And she absolutely loved those custom cards. So I'm going to go ahead and add some money back to this envelope. So family time is gonna get 30 and that's what they have. Bam Bam has 30. Next is Future Me, and this is the money I am going to invest towards my IRA. So today it's going to get $50. I've decided to track this, and for every thousand, I'm going to go ahead and deposit it. So now we have 50, 1, 20, 40, 45, and 50. 150. And then 150 is already deposited in my IRA. For vacation, vacation is going to get um, forty dollars. So twenty, forty. So now vacation has one, two, three, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, ninety, and ninety-five. So three ninety-five in vacation. Next is for a new home, and new home is going to get 25. Go ahead and color in my little $25 circle. And so now new home has 1, 50, 200, 20, 45, 50. So 250. And that is it for our long-term binder. 
Next, we're going to go ahead and get into short term. You guys know I need to stretch this binder out so it cooperates. All right, so now for my birthday. Birthday is going to get 40 bucks. So now birthday has 1, 2, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60. So 360 dollars saved for my birthday. Christmas is going to get 29. I know it's a random amount. That's how it worked out. So 20, 5, 6, 7, 8. And nine. So now Christmas has 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Wow, over $300 for Christmas already. That's awesome. Next is for clothing, and clothing is going to get 50 bucks today. So now clothing has 50, 70, 90, 110. $110 in clothing. Next is for date night, and date night is going to get 20 bucks. So now date night has 20, 30, 35, and 40. Next is for gifts, and gifts is starting over at 40 bucks. Next is for home things, and home things is going to get $20 today. So now there's 50, 70, 90, 95, and 100. Next is for perfumes, and perfumes is getting $10. Quite a few of you have said that you guys are interested in seeing what perfume I purchased with this money, so stay tuned for that. I'm so excited to share. So 50, 70, 80, 90, 95, 105. Next is for self-care, and self-care is going to get 29 bucks. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now self-care has 150, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 80, and 89. So 189 in self-care. Next is for snowball, and snowball is going to get $286. One, two, fifty. 70, 85, and 6. So I did decide that I'm going to track this envelope, and for every thousand, I'm just going to withdraw it and put it into the bank to pay towards my credit card or a credit card. I am going to snowball. Sorry, I didn't count this one, two, 50, 70, 85, and 86. And snowball. Spending is going to get skipped today, and tech is going to receive $20. bucks. I feel like, why do I have $2 here? Oh, never mind. So tech is going to get 15 And I'm going to go ahead and color an E15 on my tracker. Where is the 20? I messed up somewhere. I should have 50, 22 up here. All done. So 50, 70, 80, 90, 95, 
I'm distracted because I messed up somewhere. So I gotta find this 20. I don't know where I put it. 50, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100, 5, and 10. So 110 now in tech. You know how many 20s I had? I don't know how I'm gonna find this 20. Um. Is it? Where the f is it? I swear to God. You laughing, girl? You trying to laugh? This funny? Okay, you guys, so. 20, 40, 60, 80, 81, 300. For some reason, somehow I got 360 in my birthday envelope. It should be 340. I think I picked up too many 20s. So it's not supposed to be 300. I just watched my last video over and I ended birthday with. 300 so birthday should be at 340 I don't know I had to like redo a part of the video anyway so when I was taking the money out I must have took out one less 20 because my camera was flipped the wrong way so that's probably what happened so birthday has 340 and so that's where my other 20 was okay sorry about that you guys that was the first time that happened to me it's our A5 binder. So we have some singles from our wallet to add to the $1 challenge. So we're going to be adding in five ones. I'm curious to see how much is in here already. For fives, we're going to add in a five. Then 100 envelope is going to get 22. I had to find that $20. <laughs> That's what I can set aside for 100 envelope. And we'll color in 22. And add it in there. So 100 envelope got stuffed. And then the last 50 will be for my daughter. So for her savings, she's gonna get 50 bucks. So now she has 1,000, 100, 200, 300, 450, 70, 75, 80, 85, and 90. So $1,490. Okay, you guys, so that is it for this cash stuffing for my second paycheck for April. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and thank you again to all the new subscribers. Thank you for joining me on my journey to uh, better savings. Um, if you're new here, I am trying to pay off my credit card debt. So I truly appreciate all the support that I receive from you guys, all the positive comments. Thank you guys for staying tuned for every video and staying until the end. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.